Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Sutton here starting our, is it week three? I don't even know, um, <laughs> of uh, distance learning. Uh, I just wanted to say, those of you that have been doing your work and submitting things, you're doing a great job. Um, and I'm really impressed, actually, with the, the work completion for English. Um, so thank you for that. Um, you know, I make these videos and I, I send them out there and then it kind of goes into this vast nothingness. Um, so I appreciate those of you that have been tuning in. Um, so I just wanted to go over a couple of things. Uh, I'm, I will be posting more this week. I think you'll probably see and hear from me a little bit more um, as far as Screencastifies go. And then later this week on Wednesday, uh, I'm going to give you an opportunity to do a Google Meet where we can actually talk and kind of function as a normal class. Uh, but I'll talk more about that in a minute. I did want to just touch base about classroom. Um, please just keep using Google Classroom as the, the home base. Um, under classwork, I started this last Sunday, actually. Um, we've been getting one um, from some administrators, and I really like it because it's all in one place. So I started creating a s'more, which I know a lot of you are familiar with. Essentially, I'm using the, the newsletter feature. So at the top of your classroom, um, you will find uh, a newsletter that will give you that overview and just... I apologize here, but Google and the Chromebooks being very laggy, it has a case of the Mondays. Um, so this is this week's at a glance, uh, just gives you an overview, um, kind of what I'm reading. There's some pictures of our classroom um, that seems like forever ago. And then if you go down here, I'll post anything that might be kind of free as far as audio books, anything that I'm coming across that I might be sharing out on Twitter. And then about halfway down, this is where you'll find my instructional goals for this week or just kind of what I'm looking for as far as work wise. Um, and then down here. I've got some other stuff that you might want to check out. So um, I started this again last Sunday, um, and it's located right at the top of Classroom if you just kind of want to see what we're doing for the week. Um, as far as Classroom itself goes, this week we're really just going to be hanging in this section, the Art of Argument section with Writer's Workshop. So you, of course, you have your HyperDoc. And then I did post yesterday in everyone's classrooms uh, on Monday, on um, let me try that again, on Wednesday, uh, April 1st. So this is not an April Fool's joke. We are going to try to meet as a class. Um, I've set aside a 30 minute block for each class period. Uh, second period will go first, starting at 9 a.m., not at 8.30 when we normally would meet. Um, but I'll be available if you wanna talk about the HyperDoc, you wanna talk about your flash draft, which I'm gonna get into in a couple of minutes, um, or if you just wanna talk in general. So I'll also be posting your code as well, um, most likely right here. So that's how you'll join our virtual classroom on Wednesday, April 1st. Um, bear with me here, hold on. I'm just gonna take a time out for a little more coffee because clearly Mrs. Sutton needs it. All right, as far as today's lesson goes, um, and again, I apologize because Google is definitely being a little slow this morning. Um, your hyperdocs, I've been going through and just kind of spot checking, um, taking a look at what you're putting down as far as what you're noticing in the videos and in the articles. Last week, I asked you to, the idea with the art of argument is to suspend your judgment, to kind of go into something uh, neutral where you're not really picking a side. You're going to hear out both sides and then decide. Um, so your guiding question or your essential question is, does social media have a negative impact on today's youth? Um, and you have to look at both of those sides, which those of you that did the work last week, your responses looked excellent. Um, and going through now and looking at our focus for this week, um, mainly for today, actually, um, I'm really asking that you focus on slides number uh, numbers 10 through 13. So right now, I'm just going to kind of talk you through. If we were in class, I would be presenting these on, on Karen, but since we're not, um, I'm just going to kind of go through these slides and talk about what I'm looking for. Um, a flash draft, that's a fancy writer's workshop term for rough draft. Um, so what I'm asking you to do today is to draft picking your side, and your side you should have done on uh, slide number nine on Friday. That was your exit ticket where I said, okay, I want you to pick a side. Do you think it's good or do you think it's bad? And then just start coming up with some ideas. So this essentially was your graphic organizer to lead you into your flash draft or your rough draft. I'll use those terms kind of interchangeably. Um, right here on slide number 11, this just comes from Writer's Workshop, so it gives you a couple different ways of looking at it. Um, please don't be nervous when you see the word essay, that that's not something that's going to be our end product here. But it's really just talking about how you make a claim, 
So your claim would be, I think that social media is a good thing for today's youth. Or your claim would be something like, I think social media is not such a great thing for today's youth. And then your real goal for today into tomorrow is to start digging in and finding facts to support your claim. Um, your facts at this point shouldn't be opinion-based. It should actually come from the slides from last week. So what you may have to end up doing, and the way that we designed this a couple of years ago, the evidence and what you've typed, like right here after you watch this video, or like right here, we've got, here's a claim, you've got your evidence, you're literally just taking that evidence that you've already jotted down here, and you're just putting it into more of a coherent, uh, cohesive piece of writing. That's all a flash draft is. We actually start using complete sentences and not just um, bulleted information. So if you look at slides 12 and 13, we actually want you to write your flash draft right on these slides. Again, we're keeping everything in this one hyperdoc, keeping it all centrally located. Um, you know, you can use any size font. I mean, I'll be honest, uh, for my eyes, 16 to 18 would be great. Um, please don't pick 10, um, but also don't pick size 32 font. No, thanks. The eyes aren't there yet, so I'll be all right. Um, and then you're just writing essentially a paragraph. The first sentence should be your claim, so the side that you're picking, and then the sentences that follow should just be your, your evidence. Um, I would say realistically, if you can find, like if you look in this graphic here, it looks like they have three pieces of evidence. I think that's a really good uh, baseline. So again, three pieces of evidence to back it up. We're not worrying about introduction. We're not worrying about a conclusion. We're simply focusing on kind of the, the meat of your writing or the middle part or the most important piece that will be your final product. And that's just you picking a side and then starting to kind of gather that evidence and put it together. Um, so that's really all I'm looking for for today um, is that you've got something typed in slide 12, 13 is just there if you need the extra room. I mean, I'll be honest, uh, most years students just do their writing right on slide 12. They never really need slide 13, and then that's totally fine. So that's really the focus of today's lesson. I will be doing another Screencastify tomorrow. Um, that's when we'll get into these other slides. Um, I noticed yesterday that a couple of students have turned in their assignment. Please don't do that yet. Um, and what I'll probably do today is I'll go back and resubmit those assignments if you did hit the turn in button. You will not be officially turning in um, this assignment until next Thursday. So please don't hit the turn in yet. You're just still working. This is just a fluid kind of moving um, hyper doc at this point that we're just going to keep adding to. If you did turn it in, I'll most likely return it to you. That way you can continue to do your work. So good luck today on your flash draft. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I check my email um, multiple times a day. So if you do have a question, um, but I'm really just looking for that, that flash draft number one to be done today where you're sticking to the facts and only the facts. Uh, and then I'll have a more in-depth video with some guests um, instructors. They're still sleeping today. They were up a little too late last night. So be on the lookout for a new Screencastify video tomorrow. And then Wednesday, we'll try to do our first official Google Meet. I hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you really get outside. This weekend's weather wasn't the greatest and it looks like clouds are coming back in. But um, starting Wednesday, it looks like it's going to be nice. So definitely get outside, get some fresh air, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.